Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can save MS form response with image as an attachment to PDF using Power Automate. Uh, in our previous video, we have already discussed about how you can save MS form response to PDF and then MS form response to a customized PDF using HTML template. So we'll contain the HTML template in this video as well. And uh, we're going to save this particular uh, MS form response with image as an attachment to PDF using Power Automate. Let's just talk about how we can do that. I have created this forms to PDF uh, form and here I'm having one org name and uh, the second is upload file. Uh, this is the simple one I'm keeping. Once you create this upload option here and uh, automatic folder will be created into your OneDrive so that the attachment from this particular upload will be saved here automatically. And after that, I have created image pdf.html to actually uh, save our MS form response to this HTML so that I can convert that later on into a PDF. Here I have used the title token as I have already discussed these things in my previous video. If you haven't checked, you can check that video as well. And here I have included a base64 encoding and after that uh, image token here. I have uploaded that image pdf.html here and our MS form is ready. Now let's just talk about Power Automate. I'll go in my instant flow here. Skip MS forms to PDF. Trigger point will be when a new response is submitted. We know that forms to PDF is our form name. Select forms to PDF. MS form get response detail form name response ID will be unique identifier next thing uh, I have to get this file content get file content from OneDrive business so you can use get file content and uh, get file content using path as well so I'm choosing get file content or root image pdf.html that's it so the next step will be parse json to get our form response image detail so the content will be our question which is the name of our upload file in this case and the schema will be i have created a custom json schema you can create a simple one and if you need this one i'll paste this into my comment section you can use this one as well once this is done, I'll create one variable, initialize a variable, variable names will be image holder and will be a type of string. Once this is done, I'll pick uh, get file content again, OneDrive for business, get file content. Once I select this get file content, I have to provide a file identifier. And in this case, the file identifier for me will be ID of our this past JSON. Once I select this, it will automatically convert this into a apply to age. And now I'm having this get file content of uh, this particular past JSON output. So this past JSON will get the image detail and that image detail ID will be here and once I have content of that particular image uh, I'm gonna write a compose data operation compose and input in my case will be whatever the input will be I'll be converting that into my base64 encoding so it will be our get file content to file content. Okay. And now I'm going to append the output of this compose to our this variable which we have created as an image holder. So again, uh, write var mm, append uh, to string variable image holder and the value will be the output of our compose this output save this one 
So now I'll create one more compose here. So it will be data operation compose. And in this case, I will write replace. What we're going to replace basically is get file content, the first one, and uh, comma, and it will be our the token which we want to replace basically are this HTML one. In this case, we have title. We'll copy, paste it here, and replace title with over this form response org name All right and click ok compose to is completed next step will be compose again data operation compose this is the important one because uh, we are using this first time so we'll include uh, the base 64 encoding into this particular one and replace this with uh, the variable name image variable will go in this expression replace select the output of compose 2 of this one so that we can contain the title output as well and uh, text to be replaced will be our image tag the image token which we have used into our HTML and uh, replaced with our this image holder variable click OK save this one next step will be create file one drive for business create file choose path I'm gonna select root file name will be I'm gonna select this with org name dot HTML and the file content will be output of compose 3 so which contain all the outputs done save this one next step will be next convert this particular HTML one drive for business convert file file identifier will be create file ID and the type will be PDF once this is done the next step will be create file again the one which is converted now again create that into PDF one drive for business create file folder path uh, will be again a root oh. select root file name will be convert file file name file content will be convert file file content once done we are good to go We'll check the create file name again so you have to recheck this one generally the HTML is removed automatically they don't know about the issue but now this is done I'll go in my MS form we'll just type LT we have image Lauren tech uh, logo open this one submit once this is submitted we'll check our flow flow is running convert file is done flow is successful we'll go into our OneDrive now and we'll check we have lt.html which is uh, the name and the lt.pdf so we'll check in our PDF whether we have a title and image or not so we have it here and uh, let's just now download this one and open this with my PDF desktop version as well just to confirm that I'm having this on web and uh, desktop both you can see this one so it is successful we'll give it once more try submit another response let's suppose I'll type name 
SharePoint upload image uh, of SharePoint submit response check with flow second one is running successful we'll go to our OneDrive as you can see we have uh, SharePoint.html and SharePoint.pdf as well we'll refresh this one now we have SharePoint.pdf as well and you can see the title SharePoint and the image as in PDF the image as in SharePoint image so one thing to remember here is that whenever I'm submitting a response I'm getting the same exact image and all the images are stored into this particular MS form folder and here you can see the LT and SharePoint images regardless of that we are only getting which image we are submitting because here we have used the parse JSONs to actually get that form response detail and once we have that URL of that particular image we get the content of that particular image that's why I've used this parse JSON here so this is the use of that one to get the exact image I hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe Learn and Tech. thank you so much for watching